Hey, how's it going my dudes? Today, yet another interesting video. I say this a lot, but today this really matters especially to the vast majority of the players who are most likely going to be free to play, unlike myself. Okay, I'm free to play, not free to play. Uh, and I would safely say that maybe 80% of all players are either free to play or they have purchased something in the growth plans over here. So without further ado, let's start the video off how pay to win is this game because this really matters in the longevity of the game so long as the player base are happy they are more likely to spend and they are also more likely to remain in the game so let's figure out how how um how much welfare there is in this game let's start off with the monthly check-in unfortunately i do not have a recording of the monthly check-in screen i do not even know how to get the the, the screen out again however i I've, I've created an account on an alt. I've created an alt account on another server and I've looked at it. So what happens is on the seventh day of logging in, you get 50 gems. And on the 14th day, you get a single mystical scroll. And on the 21st day, you get 100 gems. And on the 28th and final day, you get a uh, light duck. All right, you get a light duck summon. So in total, that means you get 150 gems plus one mystical summon plus one LD per month. Okay, let's assume that a month has 30 days. So that's the first one. And next we look at the arena and if you click on duo and under the fight tab, just do a quick math over here, you get two, 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 blah, 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 three, three. It totals up to 20, 20 gems per day. So if there are 30 days in a single month, 20 times 30, that is 600 gems just by doing this 600 gems a month just by doing this and then we move on to the next one which is obvious daily quest if you do the math here as well 30 plus 5 plus 5 blah 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 plus 10 plus 10 it totals to 75 gems per day so 75 gems per day times 30 that is 2250 2250 gems per month that is about three entire pack. Three entire, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? Three entire packs worth of summons. 2250. Okay, and then moving on, under limited events, under quest master tab, so every six days, you will get a hundred gems. Let's assume that you do all your, your daily logins. Every six days, you get a hundred gems. And if there are 30 days in a single month, that means you get 500 gems from this alone within a month. 500 gems. And then moving on to 3-day perks, this resets itself uh, every 3 days, right? So you don't need to get 4, 5, and 6, although that is actually really, really good investment. This is actually a really good investment, investment but um, if you're like me, 1, 2, 3, that's enough for you, that's cool. You get one mystical scroll a day for 30 days. That's 30 mystical scrolls. And then moving back to the arena, because I didn't really cover everything. If you take a look at the weekly rewards here, and let's just assume that you're a casual arena player like, like myself. And uh, let's say you're able to get about 1,400 points per week. Okay, so that's 100 gems per week or four weeks per month, right? 28 days, right? Four weeks per month, that is 400 gems in a single month, just by doing casual arena, like myself. And then not only is there this arena, there is also the Apex Arena. And looking at the Apex Arena rewards, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's very possible to hit 1,200 points as well per week. So with that, that's another 100 gems per week or 400 gems in a month. Don't worry, I'll do the total math for you in a bit. And then moving on to the final place where you could get a sort of regular inflow of gems. That's the Thanatos. So for me, I have only two teams to be placed in Thanatos. I'll explain this in the near future. I have only two teams to be placed, so I could actually improve my, my score if I have three teams unlocked. But because I only have two teams unlocked, the rewards that I'm most likely going to get every time Thanatos clears is Intermediate Summoner 3 stars, which is another 40 gems per maybe 2 or 3 days. I think Thanatos survives for about 3 days before he, he gets defeated. So in a week, 
you should be able to get, I would say, around 100, 100 gems worth of Thanatos rewards. So you multiply that by 4 for 4 weeks and you get about 400, assumed 400 gems, alright? So all these added up, <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive, okay? So listen closely, you get 4,700 gems, 31 mystical summons, and one light dark summon. So 4,700 gems is equivalent to 68.9 or just 69 kappa plus 31 mystical summons plus one LD. And if you add all of that up, what you're actually expected to get every month if you spend it all on summons, is on average you should be able to get one net five a month on average. 100 mystical summons, one net five. And, on, and the cherry on top is you get an extra LD. So that's crazy. So within a year, you should be able to get 12 net fives completely free to play. As long as you log in, as long as you do your dailies, as long as you play the game, you are expected to get the minimum one net five per month. And I like to include that this does not include wish. If you get lucky, sometimes you can get about 60. Uh, if not, most of the time you're just gonna get about 10 or 20. And again, that's if you're lucky, right? Uh, this does not include wishes. This does not include quest grinding. This does not include apologems. This does not include new events. Uh, new events like, I think get runes or, okay, they, they didn't give any payout here, but yeah, it doesn't include like hero training and that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't include uh, other kinds of freebies that maybe the devs send to us once in a while. And also this does not include the other world trials. So even though Vapor Dreamland does pay off, I think about 300 gems for me for clearing up to stage 55. Also 300 or so. I'm not even including those. So you get about 100 mystical summons per month plus one LD. That's extremely free to play in my opinion. In my opinion, is it is really, really crazy free to play. Um, the game is good. They are generous in the kind of packs that they, 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 they provide to the player base, which is super cool. So yeah, anyone can really just get into the game and enjoy it for what it is. So everyone is expected to be able to summon net fives really regularly, which is very different from summoners world where you'd probably only get a net five once every couple of years. One to two years, and that, that's the average. That's crazy. That's like insane. And one more last thing that I like to touch on, which I think it's kind of uh, my own opinion on this matter, the arena energy recharges once per hour. All right, once per hour. So there's very little movement in the arena. It doesn't recharge every 15 minutes. It doesn't recharge every 30 minutes, but one entire hour. So naturally, you, you don't really have a lot of chances to to fight in the arena unless you refill it but yeah so that alone is going to be a kind of deterrence to people trying to trying to destroy the arena too much I feel I feel like the less movement there is in the arena the less competitive the game seems to be this is just my opinion on the matter but let me know what you think that's it for this video uh, the numbers are all out there for you to see 100 summons per month 1LD have fun guys, I'll see you again in the next one.